I'm here with Tony Heffernan of uh, Bumbalance and uh, Tony alongside with his wife uh, started up this fantastic initiative uh, Bumbalance which of course takes so much stress uh, out of the journey for young children uh, who have hospital treatments and we're going to hear a bit more now from Tony. Tell us what made you start this initiative. Um, well several years ago our daughter Saoirse was diagnosed with a very rare condition called Batten disease and uh, we used to have to take her from the Dingle Peninsula I'm a Corkman, but we live in Kerry, from there up and down to Temple Street. And when she was well in the beginning, you know, we had a DVD in the headrest, and then she used to play with Mary's iPad and stuff like that. But until she got so bad that the only way we could move her was by ambulance. And a normal ambulance is so frightening. So uh, Saoirse died then six years ago at the age of five. And so shortly after that, then we decided that we would uh, pursue developing a children's ambulance service, Bumbleins. And uh, we have three and four now, and our plan is now to try and get one on the road for a cork. Do you want to come in and have a look? Do you want to see? Come on up, have a look. It's your brother, isn't it? No, no, we let your brother in. That would be in a week. Hi, Dad. Hi, yeah. Are you going to smile? I'm playing Minecraft. Oh, jeez. <laughs> The initiative has been received very well, so there's obviously a demand for this. Parents have obviously found that you know this does aid their children's recovery in, in that they, I suppose, don't have the stress that they would in a normal ambulance. As you say, it's quite a scary experience. Yeah. Where did you source the ambulances then for the first one? Uh, we built them. We build them ourselves normally, so we we built it from scratch and designed it from scratch. So all the ambulances they have. Um, they, they have a PS4 on board, they have TVs, fridges, iPads, Netflix, Wi-Fi, all the gizmos really to make the, the child and the parents relax. With all the fleet now we've done uh, 2,400 trips and of which then 13% are angel trips which we bring kids home before they die. So we, we, there's a few people here now today who've uh, they, they've lost their child but they remain part of the Bumbleins family too. And you're fundraising for more ambulances at the moment, are you? Yeah, our, our focus now is to get one for uh, Cork next, base it in Bandon, the centre, uh, Bandon or Bishopstown, around, you know, we have good access to roads and also to West Cork and, and also Kerry and um, Waterford a bit, you know. And then once we have that on the road, that'll operate about 500 trips a year. And your vision for the future, where would you see that? Well, the vision for the future is quite simple. We, we want to get to 11 ambulances, and as the, the ambulances retire then, we're also building a, a respite and hospice centre in Munster called Liam's Lodge after our son. Our son Liam died nearly three years ago, and he went home by Bumblins on his angel trip, so we actually know the difference of how to use it and not to use it, you know. But also we know that we're, we're kind of fed up of sending the kids of Cork, Kerry and the Munster and the West Coast in and out of Dublin for a respite. And when they go there, the parents have to sleep either, if they want to sleep in the same room as their child, they have to sleep in a chair or sleep in a camp bed. It's 2017. Um, Angie Ben-Hafaf, actually, I know that you took her to her twins, Hassan, uh, on one of your journeys. And, of course, he, uh, he looked more happier in the ambulance than he did at home at some times. But uh, they were, of course, happy with the service and very knowledgeable of how great it was for their children, you know. And we think if we can remove the stress of going in before a surgery or after a surgery, we're doing a lot of kids now with scoliosis and that, it's, it's just to bring them in and make them relax. It's been lovely speaking to you. It's a wonderful initiative and uh, it's, uh, the personal story alongside of it is just, I hope, it goes where it deserves to go for you both. Thank you very much. Uh, well, it's for the kids, you know, it's not for us. It's, uh, let's do this for the kids and we hope the people of Cork will get behind us now and so they can have their own rebel bumblings on the road. Thank you so much. Tony Heffernan of Bumblance. I'm here with Cahill O'Neill and he's just uh, been up to see the ambulance. He used the uh, wheelchair ramp, so do you, would you tell us how easy it was to get up and see the ambulance? It was a little bit scary, but, but I would say it was a little bit good. What planet did you come from today? Uh, just a galaxy far, far away actually. Yeah. yeah. Have you a, a spaceship or motor here? I was parked out front, did you not see it on the way in, no? Not part of the dancing stormtroopers? <laughs> That's it. That's the of it. That's it. Three of you together? <laughs> Today is the first time we've been dealing with bumbling, so we're just thrilled to be here. So we have to say hello to this little adorable That's tiger. Thing. Tiger. Tiger. And we have Lily. Today? We have Lily as well. Lily Tiger. Oh, Tiger. Called Lily. after yes, those tiger those Lily. after.
Oh, this is great. Actually, surprisingly, a uh, tight fit, but actually it's quite nice. I like it. Bill here, and he's going to tell me the history behind your beautiful car that we're seeing. Okay. Well, that's a 1926 Model T Ford touring car. This particular car was manufactured in Cork in 1926. Uh, the first owner was a farmer in Dunlavin in County Kildare. Thank you for that. It's getting very noisy behind us. So here with Sandra Murphy and of course Sandra is the uh, brains behind the event. Uh, she's the event manager for uh, event creation. Event creation manager for the Cork International, yeah. So what brought you to bring the car show here? So um, we have three hotels in the group. We've got the Cork International Hotel, the Cork Airport Hotel and we have the Metropole Hotel and every year each hotel picks one designated charity that they're going to support for the year. So this year the Cork International has Bumbalance which is obviously the National Children's Ambulance Service and um, so we decided that our big event this year for Bumbalance was going to be a car show obviously because they're a vehicle and it's a natural tie. Um, so yeah so we, we have um, vintage cars, American cars um, and also bikes. So it's been a great turnout. We're through so far today we have between 130 and 150 cars on site at the moment. Absolutely excellent. I've been looking at some of the cars, of course, which have great stories behind them and speaking to some of the owners. Yeah. And uh, they're delighted with the turnout in, in view of the weather and the bus strike. So you've done very well. Yes, absolutely. And the other thing I suppose that the drivers were so happy with is the fact that um, this is obviously a tarmac site, um, which is great because these cars, you know, they really are people's pride and joy. And, you know, we're very grateful for the car owners to come out and support it because obviously it's all for Bumbleance today. And, you know, it's a five euro entry fee for adults, but all of that is going straightly back to Bumbleance. So, you know, we, we appreciate the cars coming and obviously the visit that is coming on site as well today to us. Well, it was a great initiative, Sandra, because Thank we've you. just heard the story behind Bumblins and, uh, yeah. you know, there's a lot more history than just the ambulance on the road, you know, so it's a, you had a brainwave there and it's done yeah. very well, so. Yeah, so we're delighted and this is year one. It's going to be an annual event that you're going to see here at the Cork International, so we're not even finished the first event and already um, the exhibitors have asked can they book in for next year, which is which is great. So tell us the story behind your car. This is a Cork Rage LIF 1979. Beautiful colour as yeah, well, gold. Yeah, gold, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My uncle had one actually when I was a child my uncle had one the same colour it was a 343 IIF it was the same the, reg, the registration number was very near it he bought it he bought it new in Evernet he's in Castle Martyr and that's where, I, that's, where, that's where my love started with the escort as a child you know I used to go around in the he had Mark 1s and Mark 2s you know well, thanks for sharing no that bother, I appreciate hearing it thanks, it. thanks very much this is a fantastic nooking bike so I'd love to know a little bit more about it how, do, how long do you own it? I have it three years uh, the engine is 1982 it's off a uh, Kawasaki 1100 and the back end of it is off a BMW car. Well, after that fantastic spin, uh, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Uh, we're signing off here at the Cork International Hotel Car Show and uh, hopefully we'll see you all again next year. So this is uh, Amanda Neary with the uh, Arts Affair and uh, see you again next year.